Hello friends. Today we are going to understand the design procedure for the draw tool. After completion of the press tool, this is the second part of your chapter number second that is press tool. It will be a or question for the 14 marks question of the press tool. That means you require to design a press tool or you require to design a draw tool for the 14 marks of the question. The draw operation introduction in which you can understand that the drawing operation means that drawing the curved type of a shapes from the sheet metal. So in this case the figure will show you the curved type of a shape which we can draw from the sheet metal. Now this draw applications, different applications are there in the industry and a simple application that all we are knowing that is the automobile doors. Now the drawing operation from the sheet metal which will be carried out with the help of the drawing die sets and these drawing die sets are required to be there with the press operations. Now the principal uh, dimensions in which we can say that the drawing operation can be possible and in this case the draw depth and the draw diameter these are the two main parameters we have to understand. So draw depth which will be given in this figure with the capital H and draw diameter which will be given by the small d in this figure. Now these are the two critical parameters for which we require to design the draw tool. The criticality or the severity of the draw depends upon the interrelation between these two parameters. That means how much height we require to be produced on and for what diameter we require to be go. So these two parameters are very important in consideration with the thickness of the sheet. The design procedure for with the different steps are given in this slide in which seven step we require to complete a solution in which first of all we require to calculate the blank diameter with the trimming allowance. So by considering the trimming allowance we require to calculate the blank diameter from which we can go for the drawing operation for the curve type of a shape. The trimming allowance which has been added into the curve that will be get trimmed after the complete operation. The second step is the draw ratio. By the draw ratio which is again known as H by D ratio. So from that ratio we can understand the severity of the draw. That means the draw can be complete in one stroke or either we required more than one stroke. So overall percentage reduction this step will be again gives us that the criticality of the drawing ratio. The next step is the number of stages required. Next step is stage wise component dimensions we required to be provided. Then we required to calculate the drawing force, blank holding force by these two forces we can say about the press capacity required. The last step we required to provide the corner radius for the die and the punch and the die clearance and the punch clearances. So these are the seven steps by which we can complete the solution. The first step that is the calculation of the blank diameter. Now in this case the, the component which we require to be draw it is having the small d as a diameter at the base of the curve which is again called as shell diameter and the capital H is been called as a shell height. So this shell diameter and shell height which we require to be draw from the blank which has been shown over here. So the blank diameter D we require to be calculate and this blank diameter D is we can easily calculate with the formula as area of the blank is equal to area of the curve. So this area of the curve from which we can say uh, it is going to be divided into the two parts. The area of the bottom that is the circular uh, circle will be present at the bottom and the area of the circle if we calculate and then the area of this cylinder. So this area of total blank is now get converted into two areas that is area at the bottom and area of the cylinder. So we can say that area of the blank that is pi by 4 
capital D square is equal to area of the cup that is pi by 4 small d square plus area of the cylinder that is pi into d into h. So here capital D is the blank diameter and small d is the shell diameter. Solving this we can have the relationship for getting the blank diameter capital D which is equal to square root of d square plus 4 dh. So this is the uh, we can say the formula by which readily we can calculate the blank diameter. Now we require to add the uh, trimming allowance into the cup and for that purpose there is a thumb rule that for every 25 mm finish the diameter we require to add the trimming allowance of 3.2 mm. That means if we require a cup of 50 mm bottom diameter then in its blank size we should add the trimming allowance as 6.4 mm 3.2 mm for each 25 mm as like so we can have the final size of the blank which becomes now capital D plus trimming allowance second step is the draw ratio now the draw ratio uh, in which we can say this ratio will be given with the draw ratio as capital H by small d so this ratio it will show us it will give us the critical criticality of the the drawing operation in which we can say that if the critical uh, ratio will be there which is more than one so in that case we should go for the number of blanks so this table we can have which will represent that the h by d ratio if it is up to 0 0.7 then we can go with one stroke operation only that means only one punch and one die will be required in this case but if the draw ratio goes more than one and if this ratio lies in between 0 0.7 to 1.5 so in that case at least two die sets will be required so in a two stroke operation we should complete the complete drawing operation if the ratio goes more than 1.5 and up to 3 we require the 3 number of draws minimum if the ratio more than 3 up to 7 we can go for the the four stage operation so this with this we can say the h by d ratio we can easily get how much stages will be required to complete the operation so this step should be involved so that we can have the stage wise operation which is required in the next step the step number three which is again very important which is being called as overall percentage reduction now this overall percentage reduction uh, percentage p will be given with the formula as blank diameter minus shell diameter divided by blank diameter and for its a percentage we have to multiply by 100 so this percentage uh, reduction whatever we got from this if it is more than 50 percent then the criticality will be there if it is less than 50 so we can go with a single stroke application but if this uh, overall percentage reduction in first step only if it is more than 50 percent so in that case we have to consider the norm, normal permissible limits for the draw operations and that permissible limits are given as 50 percent then 45 percent then 30 percent then 25 percent and 20 percent so every draw operation should be near to this permissible limits only and for that purpose we will have one example in this case if suppose after addition of the trimming allowance if the blank diameter becomes 118.20 mm and the finished cup diameter which has been required that is shell diameter which is required is 50 mm so applying the above formula percentage p becomes 180 uh, 118.20 as blank diameter minus 50 as shell diameter divided by blank diameter into 100 it goes to 57.69 percent that means it that, that means it is more than 50 percent that means the drawing operation is critical it requires more than one step so first step you have to consider as 45 percent if we consider the 45 percent of the permissible limits so the first draw should be by the 45 percent and in that case the new blank diameter which we are going to achieve as 
118.20 that is initial diameter blank diameter minus 45 percent reduction will be achieved and in that case new diameter will becomes 65.01 mm now considering this new diameter if we go for the next reduction and the next reduction percentage reduction becomes now so percentage reduction is equal to 65.01 minus 50 divided by 65.01 that is blank diameter minus shell diameter divided by blank diameter into 100 so it comes into 23.83 percentage if it is more than the next permissible limit from the given data that is after 45 uh, percentage we are having 30 percent reduction now this value comes as 23.83 percent which is less than 30 percent that means we can achieve the second reduction with the help of the 30 percent easily if it if it is goes more than 30 percent then again we require to change the first reduction and we have to again resolve it for getting the permissible limits so this we can say for this case we can have the two drawings easily one will be with the 45 percent and other will be by the 23.83 percentage Sec, uh, the fourth stage uh, step it will be uh, there that is that is called as a stage wise drawing in which you have to show the drawing in this fashion how many stages you required you have to draw likewise the stage number one will be your blank blank then it will start to have the cup type of a shape with the first operation drawing operation then again you have decreased that uh, diameter and increase the height and again the final diameter and final height you can achieve in the four stage like uh, how many uh, draws will be required in your problem accordingly that you have to draw the stage wise drawing the drawing force and the blank holding force and the press capacity so this step is required after the stage wise uh, drawing and in that case the draw force that is FD it will be denoted as FD so draw force will be given as pi into diameter shell diameter into thickness into uh, sigma yield that is yield strength of the sheet metal into capital D that is blank diameter divided by shell diameter D by D minus C so with this formula you can calculate the draw force now the blank holding force it will be calculated as fd is equal to one third of the fd fd that is draw force so one third of the draw force is your blank holding force so total press capacity will be required as the draw force plus blank holding force so whatever the value comes so that much value will be required for the press capacity the radius on the punch die and the die clearance so in this case the corner radius should be provided on the punch so here you can say this is the corner radius which will be provided on the punch both sides and again the corner radius for the die also so this die and punch are required to have the corner radius and this corner radius is required as we require to have the drawing operation here the uh, edge if we provide the edge if we are not giving the corner radius so in that case it may happen that the sheet metal will have the rupturing so for that purpose we require to provide the corner radius and for that the thumb rules have been provided that first draw operation in multiple draws the punch radius that the punch corner radius should be 4 into thickness of the sheet and the last punch in the multiple draws whatever the last punch will be there so that last punch should have the final radius as given in on the component for die also the red corner radius is required and that will be 4 to 10 times of the sheet metal thickness and the die clearance that is uh, C die clearance the value is in C it is nothing but uh, 1.10 of the thickness per side that means both the sides you require to provide both the sides of the die you require to provide the C value and that C value it will be 1.10 of the thickness of the sheet so this way you have to provide the die clearance so this way you have to complete the solution for the <coughs> problem